the name of my album is Go Pop Bang, and it's really like action words. Of course, it was lyrics in my song Bang, the first single I dropped. So we just thought those words were cool because I'm very energetic and I dance a lot and blah, blah, blah. So um, it's produced by M.I.A. She did a lot of the production on my album. Black Star, um, Diplo, Egyptian Lover, Arabian Prince, um, those producers from back in the day that worked with Dr. Dre. Um, and I actually just worked with Pharrell yesterday. When I was in the studio with Pharrell, it's sort of, I'm still in my own vibe. Usually I say, okay, I'm not very pressed about working with mainstream producers because I get the best out of myself when I'm working with the people I'm comfortable with. But Pharrell is like, he just knew my lane. So he was already prepared. He already knew what I was aiming for. He already has a unique size besides all the dope hip-hop beats he do and all that. So when I came in the studio, it was sort of, he just started making a beat. And the beat was crazy. It's, it's me. It's him. Um, it sort of sounds like M.I.A. Bird Flu and Boys mixed together. That's what some people say when they heard it. But it's a cool track. Um... We got Tiger featured on that song. So it's sort of like, we're going to make it a dance track. I actually went in with M.I.A. to do my album the first time I recorded it. So she was a part of the whole entire thing. She was there every day. You know, she was just, she was the executive producer, really. So she was very involved. Every time I'm in the studio, she has to, she had to be there. You know, she was giving her input. She actually produced some tracks on my album as well. So she sort of guided me the whole entire album. It was sort of like her album, but it was my album. But she was there to make sure everything was in place. So she's very involved. Like most of the most of the decisions get made by her as well. You know, so it's sort of if I do a track. M.I.A. has to be comfortable with it as well, because she's, I'm her artist. So I know she's featured on Bang. Any other tracks she's actually going to be featured on? Um, yeah, she's on Rock Off, Shake Off. She's on Sunshine. And she's going to be on the track that I'm doing today as well. She came through yesterday. And, of course, we had to see what she felt about the Pharrell tracks. And it was an amazing look. I was happy that she was like, actually, oh, I love it. Because everybody was like, oh, Lord. <laughs> Pressure. <laughs> Is she a tough critic? Um, Yeah, it's just, I guess she just had that creative vision for me. And she want my album to sound a different way. And she don't want me to get pulled from my direction. I started working with Black Star. And... I actually never heard of M.I.A. or Diplo when I first met him. Um, Black Star just called once, and he was like, you know, somebody at the studio want to meet you. But I was just, who could this be? So he came and got me, and when I went, it was M.I.A. and Diplo. But at the time, I didn't know, like, I didn't know who they were. I just, you know, so um, we started talking and she started telling me about herself and blah 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 we started working on the track so at that time i still didn't know who she was when we recorded the track we was just like wow she's dope like her lyrics everything about her, her accent so it was sort of like okay i vibed off for her for the song that we just did and she just came to find me because she overheard the song I did, and she was also working on her album. So she came to Baltimore, and she linked up with Black Star. And then when I met her, she was just like, oh, I've been looking for you for the longest time. And I was just like, this is weird. Like, who's this lady? She got a different accent. Like, where is she from? And I just was like, okay. So that moment, she was like, oh, I wish you wasn't in school. You could tour with me. But I didn't take it serious or anything. I was just like, you know, I'm still in school. I'm 15, 16. It's not going to happen. And we got to know each other. We exchanged information. And then I haven't heard from in a while. And during that break, I started seeing her video on TV, the boys video. And then I started, you know, catching up with her. Because sometimes if I say something about her, some people in Baltimore knew who she was. You know, they'd be like, oh, she's a dope artist. I've been listening to her music, blah, blah, blah. All I knew, like, when I seen the boys track, I'm like, oh, she make the type of music I dance to. So I was, like, hype and, you know. And then um, she had a show that she was doing at Terminal 5. It was the first show to start her tour off, and she called for me and Black Star to open up the show for her. And when I went, 
I, it was my first time seeing her perform or even hearing any of her music. So I just was in the state of shock. I mean, Black Star just was like, wow. Is you serious? Like, she just killed it. And we were just standing there like, we never knew it was this serious. I called her mother because, you know, you know how some people tell you what to do and what not to do. Like, I stayed on my phone a lot. And she always, oh, you stay on your phone too much. You stay on the internet too much. You stay on, just all the time. So I was like, okay, she's like another mother. But then it was times I brought the fun out of her when she's acting like my sister my best friend just doing stupid stuff on the tour bus and acting like me and we just having fun about the stupidest things